What's up, people? 50 BM Devil's Advocate back with another video. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and sub button. And at the end, if you find the video informative or true, make sure you share it. Now let's talk about it. The modern day woman. Aggressive, to say the least. A lot of women, I don't, I honestly feel like they don't realize or understand that this is the type of woman that all men hate. Maybe not all men, but a lot of us do. See, as a man, whether we like to admit it or not, the chase is half the challenge. I mean, the challenge, the chase and the challenge is what we enjoy. We enjoy it. But nowadays, you have a lot of women that are very bold and aren't patient. So what they'll do is they'll approach you first, which is cool. But the way they approach you is not the way that most women would want to be approached. See, women want to be approached in a respectful way, a well thought out approach. It makes them feel worthy or worth it. It makes them feel like they have actual worth. So you will have a handful of men that will come on some gorilla shit and just flat out tell a woman what they want. That's cool with a lot of women. But some women like to be eased into certain things. That's besides the point. The modern day woman, i.e. Tiffany Haddish, very aggressive. It's disgusting, to say the least. For a woman that has, I'm going go with the word power, well known famous why do you feel the need to be this aggressive to be able to get a man the reality of it is I'm pretty sure there are many men that will be willing to kick down her door just to be with her but obviously she doesn't want this type of man nowadays you'll have women that will literally come and grab your penis They'll just grab it. And see, what we're taught as men in society tells us that we should enjoy this. We should appreciate it. Because for some odd reason, women think that their part in sex is the reward. The, um, the most important thing. Like what you bring to the table sexually doesn't even matter. So you will have this happen on a regular basis in different places. Whether it's at the workplace, hell, it could be you know, on the damn street the first time you meet a person. It could be in the club. But there's never any outrage behind it. In this video, you're gonna listen, you're gonna hear Vic Mensa, rapper Vic Mensa, speak on how he was sexually assaulted by Tiffany Haddish. But before, we listen to this, make sure you hit the like and sub button. 50 BM Devil's Advocate, let's get it. Up in the studio, getting blow to the truest shit I ever spoke. 21 gun salute. I forgot her name, Tanya. Damn, I don't know. I don't know, but that made me think about. Should I tell him about when Tiffany had a sexually assaulted me? <laughs> uh, that's not. That don't count, man. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> that don't count. Okay, look, look, look. It's all good. Here's what, here's what happened. It, okay. I thought it was really funny. I was in a, I was in a club. I was in a club in New York, and um, and I'm smoking a cigarette. You know what I mean? And she was like, she was like, yeah, you know, I, I never met her before. She was like, you way too sexy to smoke cigarettes or something like that. I'm like, word, you know, keep smoking my thing. And then she like grabbed for it, and I was like. Hello? You think about fucking her right there? <laughs> she was bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. She yeah. was bad. She was bad. She she definitely was sexier in real per in in right. person than I would have thought. I'm smoking my cigarette. She tried to take it from me. Ooh. Then I end up talking to her. She was like telling me about how she wanted to do a rap album and she wanted me to write it for her. And then I'm like, cool. I'm like, that would actually be fun. Then she rapped one of the songs to me from her rap album and it was something about something about like 
something about some dick. Or I don't really remember exactly <laughs> what what the words was, but as a parting as a parting like gesture, she just like reached down and like grabbed my nuts. See what I mean? Yeah. She Whoa. Me nuts. <laughs> and I was like, I turned around. I thought it was man. I was turned around to my homegirl. I was like. I think Tiffany Haddish just sexually assaulted me. Damn. But gee. I did think it was funny. And also, you know, probably would have smashed, but it definitely still counts. Damn. Fuck. Crazy. Man, I just snitched. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. It's all good. You ain't snitching. You just fucked her. And then you told us that that would have been snitching. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't do that. That would have been snitching. Can't do that. I mean, you got to be careful about everything you do right now, 100%. Well, Vic, it's been great having you on, brother. Appreciate y'all having me, Thank you. Me, man. All right, people, you heard it. What are your thoughts? I'm going to go ahead and give you mine. Make sure you hit that like and sub button and share. Now, Vic Mensa. First off, whenever a man puts this out in the atmosphere, especially on a platform like this, Regard if he says that it doesn't matter or if he laughs it off, don't believe it. Don't believe it. Because when somebody brings this up, no one is gonna get a lot of attention. It had to be an issue with it. But see, we as men, we're told in essence to man up, deal with it, enjoy it, tell them thank you. And this even happens, you know, to even kids, kids that are young men that are molested by older women, teachers and all that. They're told that I wish I had that person in my life when I was your age. You should be happy. And these are men saying this. So when men say it, what do you think women will think? That it's okay. Now see, we've had plenty of instant inc incidents and things going on with celebrities as far as the Me Too movement, sexual assault for the past two, three, four years. There's always an outrage. There's someone has to answer for it. Women band together. Feminists march. Feminists complain. Feminists fight. And yes, that shit happened. But if you claim you want equality, shouldn't those same feminists be fighting to hold Tiffany Haddish accountable for the alleged sexual assault on Vic Mensa? See, if you find it disgusting one way, then it should work the same way the other way. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. That just makes sense to me. But obviously it doesn't. You see here, in Tiffany Haddish, all we have is a comedian, a woman, whose stick is to talk about sex. And yes, we all love sex. Can you talk about something else? Do you have anything else going on in your life? Any, any issues you had in your past that you can turn into a joke? We'll like to hear that. And see, again, if the roles were, were reversed and he did it, they would bury him. Bury him. Want to see? Want to see this dude do life in prison? Take away all, all the endorsements, the sponsorships, the, the. Fire him from the music label, all that type of stuff to mess up his life. Just for an accusation. They don't wait till it's actually been proven. It's an accusation. So all I want is equality. I always hear women talk about equality. It really seems like you just want to be superior. You don't want to be equal. You want the man to come in, swoop in and save you when something happens to a woman. So use that same power that you expect us to have and stand up for men that are being sexually assaulted or that's being that are in relationships with domestic violence, except they're getting their ass whooped. You never see women march for this. You will not see any outrage and it will be swept under the rug just like Cardi B. That's what's gonna happen. 
Because what's happening right now is a lot of people see it as a joke. And what bothered me was that he stated it as if it was nothing. He dismissed it, but still brought it up at the same time. Why? Why would you do it this way? And see, now this dude can step back and now say, regardless of how it goes, he can play both sides. He can say, oh, it wasn't that deep. I was just playing. I actually enjoyed it. Or when he started get, getting people to, to stand behind him and support him and fight for him, then he's going to go with that. So it was actually genius how he did it. But it's still messed up. It's not beneficial to us as men at all. So what we as men need to start doing is holding these women accountable. Speak on it. Not just amongst yourselves. Hell, social media. All these YouTubers. It shouldn't be no issue with all these male YouTubers coming out and pushing for this. Pushing just to hold this person accountable the same way you would hold us. That's it. But see, what's going to happen is you have the simps out there, the male simps. And they're really the, it, the ones that are causing the major issue. They're standing in the way. Because they'll justify this action. They'll make you feel like you're less of a man if you don't enjoy this action. If you don't accept this action. That's what happens. So it's not women standing our way when it comes to this. It's men. It's men. So I'm going to finish this off by asking the question. Do you think there should be any repercussions following this? I'm not speaking on legal but as far as going to jail. But should endorsements, movie deals, should she be blackballed just like a man would? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Again, make sure you hit the like and sub button. If you found the video true or informative, go ahead and share it for your boy. Till next time, 50 BM, Devil's Advocate, I'm out. Up in the studio, getting blow to the truest shit I ever spoke. 21 guns salute.